John Jack Showalter. I can't even talk. This is the ones I'm wearing lately. John Jack Showalter. John Jack Showalter. President Future. Visible and Invisible for what we want to know. And we want to know um, why was he with the girls at the food truck? Did he murder? Wow, another one straight out. Did he murder the victims? Or did he stalk or love Kaylee or any of the other girls in that house? Okay. And where did he go after leaving the food truck? Does he have any psychological issues? Does he have some psychological issues? Was his anger issues too much for him? And did he feel disrespected by the girls at the food truck? Those are good questions. Anything else? Um, what about the knife? Yeah, was that his hunting knife? Or, but I mean, they probably would have looked for that. Pizzeria knife. That's not a pizzeria knife. Like, it could be. He worked in a pizzeria. He worked in a pizzeria? Yes. That's interesting. Now he could have got a knife from the pizzeria. All right, so here we go. But no, let's not accuse him. For what's hidden, hidden behind darkness, and the God and the saints will reveal the answers to our questions. Here we go. First two coming out for John Jack Showalter. <laughs> it says triumph with being discontent. So he was not happy. It says, in other words, like saying, you're right on. Wasn't happy. Um, not happy. It says in the crossing of that, it says things in his life that were incomplete. Well, I think that could be incomplete. It says, but there was something that he knew he could master. He could overcome. He could beat. Adversity. Things. It says, in the past, this person had left or left something or left something behind. Uh, but again, in that in that boat, it's carrying on uh, swords. There's six of them there. Six swords. Or that would be six kills, I think. Uh, so we'll see. Uh, that's interesting. But, but probably thinking about leaving now. And then it says... Presently, it says, not sure what's going to happen or what road's going to, he's going to end up going down or what's going to happen to him. A little weird. It says, and here's the man in the same spot that we just read the other cards that said, I am the killer. That was at the house reading. And here's the hair. The only thing we don't have is really the goatee, but maybe he had one at one point or shaved it off. I don't know. But the same color skin, same everything. Interesting. Very interesting. Here we go. It says, there is fortune in the circle of life. There was fortune with, I mean, this is what he's talking about. There was fortune with wanting to fall in love. It says, but it says no death. Okay. Returning to love, but no death. It says, but a lot of burden on his back. Like he's not dead, maybe. Interesting. Let's see. It says that quickly, talks about quickly, an angry woman who went upside down. An angry woman with the sword who went upside down. It says, and almost in the same spot, Tony. Yep. It says, but they were trying to be patient, like trying to be cool about it, be cool about something. It says under the crossing of that. So let's recap real quick. Let's give you an idea. It says the burden that was on his back talks about something that happened quickly. It says that an angry woman goes upside down. Now that means... Well, of course, the, the girls say, everybody says it was killed, it happened quickly. Yes. And, and of course, I got a lot of shit for that. One of my comments was like, well, no shit, it happened quickly. But you don't know. You weren't there. Like, you don't know if they were in the struggle or they weren't, or they woke up and got stabbed still. Or, or they were um, still breathing while they were stabbed. You know? Right. You don't know how long it took for them to die. You don't know. But, but it definitely, the incident happened quickly. It says, and he made the problem. He said he was patiently, even though they were being patient with this person, he made the problem go away. That's what it says. I don't know if he just walked away, went home. We're going to get to that now as we go down to the middle of the cards. Yes, family, ancestors, all my people, guides, my muerto. Give us what we want here. It talks about the future and a guide. Let's see what happens. That could also mean no death penalty down the road. Here we go. Um, it says, it says, for the most part, a uh, person who's healthy, had a lot of energy, that said, but there is karma on this person now. It talks about karma right out the gate. And then it says, a lover. Was he a lover? Was he fucking around with one of the girls? He went to school with Dylan. Maybe he tried. I don't know. And he was he was, he was was with uh, Kaylee and um, Madison. Maybe he wanted her to be a lover. Maybe he was a lover. I don't know. It says, it says no broken heart. Like, break his heart. Like, whatever. It says she was just upside down with him. Like, she just wasn't cool with him. But that's what he's talking about. Interesting. It says... 
the things that are incomplete. Talked about this in the house thing as well. Uh, it says, left hanging. They left him hanging. They left him hanging. It says, but now nah, no destruction. Like he was, he's fine. He said, but he brought things to an end. Yeah. What? He brought things to an end. And those are the swords hitting someone in the back that brings things to an end. There it is. It says, um, no justice. Like, like it's no justice. There's no nothing fair. Like, it says, but things are still going to be incomplete. So why he's saying that? I have no idea. It says he was trying to master certain things in his life. It says, but everything was bringing him to his knees. He wasn't happy. It says, and there was things he needed to work out. It says, at the same time, he wasn't afraid to lose. Now it says that in the house, the person that was there wasn't afraid to lose to take the chance to do it. They weren't afraid. Like they were like, "Fuck, I can get this done." Like, you know what I mean? And then, of course, you brought up the picture that his mom posted, right, of him slaughtering an ant, an elk, with a hunting knife, which is kind of interesting because you need a knife to cut that elk open, Good enough, right? Enough. All that shit. Um, and then it says tons of opportunities. Like it said in the house, this person had a lot of opportunities, so he must have gone maybe to the parties at the house at some point, right? He was a Freddy at some point. He got kicked out because of anger issues. The girls um, knew him enough to be like... Yeah, they knew him enough, but they just didn't... He wasn't... He was a creep. Okay, he was a creep. Um, he looked a little creepy. It says... Now he doesn't know presently what road is gonna, what's going to happen or what road he's going to go down. It says... And here's the picture of him again with the hair. Um, it says... What's interesting, it says it's true. It's true. Whatever's being said is true. Turn the house upside down. Didn't the house killer say... He turned the house upside down. It says, this is interesting, it says, in order for things uh, that he had going on, he needed to eliminate some of the things that didn't work in his life. It says, and now, kind of distraught about it, uh, kind of fucked up about it, what happened? I, I, would, I would assume that everybody's probably distraught about something that happens to you that close when people get killed. Even when the person a couple streets away was shot in the head uh, by our house, it's a little nerve wracking to have that happen in your neighborhood. You just don't expect that. It says, this man, it says, was not close to God. Was, God was upside down. God is upside down with him. And it says, uh, been blocked. It says, it's like, he's blocked now. He, he went evil. He went dark. It says, there's no love. There's no true love in his heart. No, none of it. Talked about God saying true love. God was in the other saying, person needs true love, like unconditional love. Uh, maybe he wasn't loved properly. It talks about his mom being upside down. It talks about, um, it wasn't really a fight or a struggle. So, again, the element of surprise wasn't really a fight or a struggle. It says, it says he was way stronger than them. Well, the same this is what's coming out. It says, in the circle of life, he expected there to be fortune with him going to college and doing all this stuff. But again, he says what the other card says. Nothing magically was happening for him. There was no magic in his life. Like, there was no... Good luck, no nothing. Like things were going bad. He was having trouble in school. He obviously wasn't trying to be able to hook up with girls. Um, he got kicked out of his fraternity. He had anger issues. Well, what the fuck? I mean, if all these things, all these things said is true. Man, that's some some deep shit. I mean, my cards got deep. If it turns out to be him, oh boy. I mean, we went through the whole gamut. That would be, and that's the first person I suspected from the beginning. And we said, no, he's cleared. He's cleared. But was he cleared? It says this person was evil, and there it is. There's the evil that was in the house. Oh. Was he evil? He must have been. Um, you know, if you're if you're walking some girls and they really don't want anything to do with you, you keep walking with them and following them. Especially if they're drunk ass fuck. Well, that's probably why you're following them, if you're a guy. It says, he was upside down with the girl. Like, in other words, she was the one that do them. And, of course, that girl looks a lot like Kaylee. So he's probably trying to get at Kaylee. It says, and they show that Kaylee was talking to a guy in the bar, right? And Polly thought, this guy's fucking weird. It says, this is why he thought he had an opportunity with her in the love department or, you know, trying to get with her. It says, and so he was acting nice in the very beginning or being cool when they were talking in the bar. It says, returns to love, though. Returns to love what? It says that um, with no delay, in other words, quickly, something happened really quickly. He says, returns to love quickly um, by a spiritual, a spiritual person. In other words, his spirituality it says, but he was alone. He was alone when he returned. It says, 
But it does. It, it also says um, again, he, he couldn't master this. Like this was something that he, he, he felt disrespected. He felt bothered. He felt disrespected. He was angry. Again, short temper. I think it says no death. What does that mean? What does that mean as far as no death? Because it's upside down. Could mean death at the same time. It says family upside down with him, and that didn't kill him. It's saying um, not angry at the moment, but he's an angry man, and it's talking about because. These cards are kind of inverted upside down, but it's kind of saying death and the angry man. And I said, if we see these two fucking cards together, yeah. what did I say? Oh, yeah, he's a killer. If we see these two cards together, he's a killer. <laughs> so why are they upside down? Because he's going to say, I didn't do it. He's still alive. We're reading his mind and his subconscious. So he may, he's going to deny it. And he may be in a split personality situation where we don't know what he's about. Because if he snapped... <laughs> Sometimes it t the whole world could be coming down on you, right? You're not... Things aren't going good with you financially. Things aren't going... And he came from a prominent family with money, right? Yeah. But maybe your parents are cutting you off or not you know, not giving you a limit to, hey, well, you're going to have to take some loans. You're going to do some other shit so they can get him to like, you know, get back on it. Um, no longer in the frat, angry, all this kind of shit. When shit's coming down on you, and then you go up to some girl like, "Hey, what's up? Like, I would like to go out with you, or hey, would you, maybe we should like hook up sometime or do something." And she's like, "No, fuck that. You're weird." Right there, that's a kick in the balls, and that would fucking make somebody. Yeah, you're hoping for like, maybe I was tripping, maybe there's that, there's hope. But didn't I tell you guys in the beginning? I said, "Dude, it looks like he was trying to get at him," and they basically were like telling him like to fuck off, and then he was like, "Fuck, they left me." Because if you were with, if they were cool with them, they would have left him. They left. They should have left him. Right. They wouldn't have left him, and there would have been the comments of "fuck you." So that's interesting. Um, but I guess inverted because is that the lie that's being told? Um, it says, and here it goes. It says the stress. He had a lot of stress on him. It says because things there was no new beginnings for him. And it talks about that in the house reading. There's no new beginnings for him. It says, and he he was tired of being made a fool of it. And we've talked about that in every reading. Maybe this was someone they knew from the house who had gone there to party and they fucking thought he was weird. Because if, if you look at him, um, doesn't look like a real attractive kind of guy to me. He seems a little strange. Um, I'm not judging, but it just seems a little strange. Um, and to be following someone, I mean, I, if a girl wasn't giving me the time of day, definitely wouldn't follow her home. Definitely wouldn't walk with her somewhere. And definitely wouldn't be upset if she took off. I'd be like, okay, fuck. You know what I mean? But maybe this was something to him. Maybe he had seen her before in the house. Talks about the house saying there was a face-to-face -face in the house. Yeah. And he knew Dylan, so he must have been at one of those parties. Or maybe more than one. And maybe maybe he had that face-to-face -face with Kaylee, and he was in love with her. And that's why he was talking to her at the bar. She didn't know that, and it just didn't maybe go. he tried to shoot a shot a bunch of times. Definitely could just, be. And just kept failing. Okay, a lot of things. It says the burden on his back. It says, a girl who was upside down with him, it says, and he felt he had to defend himself. It says, for there to be, for there, for good things to come out of it. It says, and it talks about the money upside down. So even though he comes from a prominent family, that doesn't mean that they're giving him money on tap. Maybe he was being reckless with it. Maybe they started cutting him off or like giving him a, a budget or, or balancing him out because maybe he was just throwing money around everywhere. Who knows? Um, and so, you know, I know if I was a parent and my son was partying like crazy, like, I'm not giving you no money until your grades come up, money. No, no money. No money until your grades come up, right? It says, no change. There's no change in that. Like, um, maybe they told me, like, we're not going to give you no more. Like I just said, there's no change in that. Here we go. Man, we have so many fucking readings this here. Is going everywhere. <laughs> is it, though? Is it, though? Because there's a lot of shit related to that with the house energy stuff. No, yeah, I'm saying, but I'm saying, like, this, this whole saga thing is like, <laughs> Yeah, it's deep. There's some deep shit. It says they quickly, um, the angry woman who goes upside down, um, and then it talks about uh, being trying to be patient with this person, but probably lost her patience. It says that was the one obstacle. That was the one thing that triggered it. Something that triggered something. It says, well, first off, no money. It says, second of all, uh, it says he could he could say clearly this person wasn't interested. And then thirdly, says he made the decision. He did. The house. The house that he says he made the decision that night. Yep. Made the decision that day, that night. That night. It says, and then it says, and hardship came from it. <laughs> yeah, this is getting really good. This is some good shit. <laughs> it says, made the problem go away. 
It says the two relation, the two girls in the relationship upside down. It says another girl upside down. It says he came, returned to cut off their head. It says no, no more face to face, no more having to worry about you know seeing them or anything. It says there it is. There's the swords and tied up. Finished it. Can we be right or can we be? I mean, I'm, I can't. I'm, not, I'm still. I'm not going to go on the limb I mean, and say we're not, we're not ones to say. Maybe he was multi personality. No, we're not ones to say that you know we, you know that he's guilty or anything. We can't. We but, can't just come out and say that. We'll wow. Be right. But man, this we're giving you everything that we're getting out of the cards and out of what these people are, and based on the other stuff that's coming out about them, kind of weird. I like I said that to me it was just weird to see a guy that time of night walking to the lunch truck. Almost 20 or 30 feet behind them, watching them order, watching them go from the truck this way, like going this way around the truck. And he's talking to some girl because he's moved. He moved from where he was at, going back to the way they were going to have to leave. And then he's talking to some girl. And then all of a sudden, he sees that they leave. And he's like, what the fuck? Like, like fuck you guys. Um, it says, uh, another guy upside down. So, there's, there's, so now he's already mentioned three girls and a guy upside down. He says... Um, <laughs> He says, from good to evil, from good, from, from light to dark. It says, mental yeah, maybe mental illness. So there's the two things, the two, the two things. And it says, um, but no triumph. Like he, he not, he's not successful. He wasn't successful. In other words, again, he's saying no, no. Again, the double entendre on my card right now is tripping me out because this should be triumph with the sword. And it says no triumph. He goes with the three girls. Like with all, maybe he tried to get at all of them. Maybe the only one he didn't try to get at was Funky. Yeah. And Dylan. So maybe he tried to get all three of them. And I think it's she, he knew Dylan oh. from high school. Oh yeah. So I think he tried to maybe try to get out, and I don't think he tried to get at Funky. So maybe that was Funky was pissed, but tried to get at all three of them and no success. And so that rejection is pretty difficult. They probably you know laughed at him, made fun of him. And we talked about someone who was kind of humiliated in the house. It says, and so the sun doesn't shine. It says, in this world, it says, um, no more past. Like he's saying, he doesn't have to worry about the past anymore. It says, from a girl uh, that he wanted to offer love to. Wow. I don't know where to go. This is just, each reading is, but this is similar to the house reading. It's very similar to the house reading. Because I asked the house to tell me what the energy to tell me who was killed. Um, but definitely, guys, uh, this this reading is almost an exact replica of the reading that we did uh, for the house. Because the house says you have the killer right here. It's talking about the killer. Talked about two personalities. It talked about a guy and a girl. Um, an angry woman. And then maybe the angry woman was Kaylee. Because he was coming at her. And he, maybe he might have called her some names and she said something. And then he said, fuck you. She told him to fuck off. Um, the angry woman... And then maybe that's why we think it's two people, but it's one person who came in, and that was the angry woman who was angry the whole time. She, when people come at you, trip out on this. You come home from a party, you're partying, you're having a good time. You come home, and the first thing you do is talk about what happened. I can't believe that fucking guy. The fucking guy just wouldn't even look at like, what a dick. Like, and, and, an angry, and an angry woman. And the whole house would know at 145 because he got home at the same time. But an angry woman with a sword doesn't technically mean that a woman had a knife. Or right, a, no. Uh, it no, just it means that she was angry and maybe defensive. Right. Right, and, and maybe all of them were talking about, maybe even Ethan was saying, the angry woman with the sword, because she was pissed off and she fucking told this guy to fuck off, maybe that's why the killer came to kill us, because she blew someone off. <laughs> fucking. Man. I mean, all of, it, now when, you, when I'm looking at it, and I put all the different pieces together, it just seems like they match. Um, Jack, Jack to me could still be a suspect, but I don't think so. I really don't. Nah, I, I blew he, Jack he had, out of one. He had a great motive. It's a great motive. But I, I just think no. Nah, but I just, I, I, now I just see, I, I think he really did love Kaylee. Yeah, but not, not in that way to, to hurt her. I think I think he was getting a little too possessive. And I think she, she wanted some space. I think there was a lot of negative things that could make him look like the murderer. But, but not but at the end of the day, he did love her, not, but not enough to hurt her. Right, I agree. So anyways, guys, we're done with this reading. Um, thank you guys for being on, for the comments, for working with us and going through it. He's being truthful. He's being yeah. truthful with his card throwing. Uh, I mean, this is the real deal right here.